<laughs> How do you feel right now? I'm a little bit like in awe. You know, what, what's funny is, is I had no idea what was going on, and, and David wouldn't tell me anything. Um, as, as I told Gene out there, was, this is maybe like an odd thing for me, but any gym or arena I've ever been in, I would always study who was up on, in the rafters. And, you know, to, to have that honor tonight, I, I'm really at a loss for words. Uh, had you known they were going to do that, would you have been reluctant to come and have them put your name in the rafters? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I, I don't know. I mean, you know, I, I think from the standpoint, it, it uh, um, like I said, I, I'm glad that I didn't know. And um, I thought they were going to be like a rocking chair or something like that or <laughs> golf balls. But, uh, you know, to, to me... That may be different, but I, I, I think that uh, tonight's probably the greatest honor that I've, I've ever received. And at this exact same time, it's probably the most humbling experience that I've, I've ever had in my life. Um, you know, it, it, uh, I, I think when I think back to all the people I've seen in, in rafters and, um, you know, to do it at a place where I, I didn't go to school, um, it just, it, Quite honestly, it means the world to me. Were you at all surprised that uh, Chris and, and his wife that they called to, to do this so so soon? I mean, you haven't even been gone that long. Um, yeah, you know, but I'll, I'll be honest with you. One thing I said to myself was, usually I do this when a guy's dead, <laughs> and at least I get to see it. Um, so I was I was excited from that standpoint. But um, you know, I, I think that the transition has been so smooth, and, and Chris is doing. Not only with the, the coaching, but just running the program and, and um, you know the things that, that we tried to do when we were here in terms of excuse me bringing back the the former players and, and you know what he's done in that regard is is I mean second to none and, and just everything that he's doing here I, I could not be happier uh, in, in terms of the fact that he's here the job that he's doing and what he's going to continue to do. Thad, how have you been enjoying your year and a half away? Um, I was in Bahamas last week uh, <laughs> for the Battle to Atlantis, um, but you know, uh, honestly, doing a lot of catch up in, in terms of, of uh, you know, I, I think for me, the, the proudest moment of the night was for my kids and, and my wife, because, um, you know, we have all of our jobs takes us away, but I, I think of all the things that I've missed, and, and um, you know, one of my daughters received an award at her school the other night, and I was laughing, saying if I was still working, I wouldn't have been there to, to see it. And um, so, you know, just uh, doing some traveling and, and, and that sort of thing, and uh, I'm, I, I tell people I'm still unwinding from the uh, 17 years or whatever I was a head coach. How do you know this can be a tough business sometimes? Um, how does it feel that for you and the school that you coached at for so long, like how would you describe where you are with Ohio State? And I guess this showed where Ohio State is with you. But you know what I'm saying. Like sometimes right. yeah. there's a separation and, and there's hard feelings. Right. Where are you with Ohio State? I, I am as, as completely uh, at peace. You know, it's, it's funny because I always said this when I worked here. I, I don't know what they do to the students and the, and the fans when they're here, but they inject something in them. And you know, I found myself rooting so hard last Saturday for Ohio State in the, in the Michigan game. And, and we, we don't miss games. Now, basketball is a little bit different. I didn't get to see those guys as much as I wanted to last year. Um, but no, I, we had a great run here. And um, you know, I, I said that this, this summer, uh, when, when you're coaching, you remember the losses. But when you're not coaching, you remember the wins. And, and you know, I've had, uh, it's, it's funny when in my office in, in my new house, uh, I've just got pictures up and, and you know just sitting there sometimes and look around because when you're coaching, you don't have the opportunity to ever stop and smell the roses because it's it's always on to the next thing. And um, I remember in the start of '07 season after we played for the national championship, we were getting ready to play our first game, and Vince O'Brien came into the locker room and I'm sitting there and the team was out warming up and I said, Hey Vince. 
you realize we just played for the national championship? He's like, yeah. I said, I think it's the first time I've thought about it since because it was just you were on to the next thing. And um, so from, from that perspective with, with Ohio State, um, you know, this place, I, I raised my kids here for a majority of their lives, and, and uh, 13 years is, is a long time. And, and, and Columbus is such a great city. Ohio State is such a, a great institution that uh, it, it's always going to be part of who we are. How did this all come together tonight? What were the conversations like with you and everyone here at Ohio State in terms of making this moment happen tonight? Well, uh, you know, Chris had reached out and, and um, he says, hey, we, we want to come back and honor you. And after I talked to him, I immediately called David Eggloff and said, how much do they want uh, for, for this honor? And, uh, but, uh, you know, it just it, it just sort of happened. And, and he said, you know, you can pick any game you want. And believe it or not, this is like the only game I got a daughter who's studying um, abroad next semester. So we couldn't do a Big Ten game. And um, it just it, it worked out well for us in terms of our schedule. That it was probably pretty easy for them to pick the game highlights to show in that video, you know, Sill shot and Evans right. launching and stuff like that. I'm just wondering what memories you may have of, you know, special moments that just come right to mind with you, maybe that were not even meant, you know, moments on the court. I'm sure you had a few go through your head. Yeah. You know, Jeff, it's funny because uh, I, I always get asked the question now, who's your your favorite player, your all-time favorite player? And kind of like, what, what's your all-time favorite memories? And I always say the same thing. You know, there's there's some guys. Uh, I, I had a friend call me the other night and said, "Hey, my son was playing on one of your former players' teams. He didn't like you." And I said, "Well, what makes you think I liked him?" <laughs> and uh, uh, but but I, I think that uh, you know the, the the second year here when we won the Big Ten championship and Ron hit the shot up at Northwestern to, to clinch a tie. You know, there was, there was a play, I, I still say my all-time favorite play of my time at Ohio State was when Jaquel Foster against Illinois in that game with 4.30 to go. Back tip, ran into the cheerleaders, came back out, back tipped again, jumped on the ball. D. Brown jumped on his back. It was his fourth foul. They had to take him out of the game. Um, uh, you know, I, one of my all-time favorite memories was when I put Greg Oden in the first time against Valparaiso and his, his warm-up got stuck on his cast and he couldn't get it off. And I ran down there and was tugging it off of him. Um, but, you know, just there's, there's, there's so many. Um, and, and it would probably blow your mind if, if we sat down and had a beer and, and the things that I talked about, you'd be like, I wonder why that was so significant to him. But there was, there was something special um, about them. So, yeah, a lot of... A lot of 